Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Monday morning, are we surprised? I'm in my car, I'm in, cl I'm in class. Is this an another unwell week for me? Cause, okay, I'm about to go into class. I realize my hair is quite shiny today, hello. Hello healthy hair, ooh, who is she? But it's like, I feel like it's a big week, but like a slow week. I don't know, I have this big group project this week, but it's done already, it's just like, I just have to present it. I have another group project due Friday. It's like I have all week to do it. I have an interview Friday. I don't know, interviews don't really make me nervous, so I'm not freaking out about it. I'm just like, I feel like it's a chill week, not a whole lot to do. So I'm just like ready, ready to take on the week. I'm really gonna try to treat this week like a job. Like, I'm not going to work after like six, 6.30 at night. I can't do it. I literally worked myself into the freaking ground and I'm so tired of it, so. I'm gonna stop working so like all day it's just like I I would much rather get stuff done in like a two hour time span than try and spread it out over like six hours and take breaks and do this and that I need to just get on the grind be more productive it's my last week of classes where I'm actually going into class and I need to be productive and I'm going to be productive and this is going to be a productive week so I'm gonna go to class We'll see you all later. update it's 3 30 i'm about to start getting some work done my last class actually was super short because it was like an exam review and i'm not gonna lie he didn't really review much so he let us out after 20 minutes of class so i got to go to the gym early and it kind of worked out because i have this event thing at 5 30 so now um i'm just pushing my two hours of work early are we mad not really but yeah, the event is just like a recruiting event for a company that I applied to and I'm doing an interview with them tomorrow. So I just want to hear like a little bit more about the program and just learn about some more things. So we'll see. Um, oh, anyway, um, oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's her world and I'm just living in it. Anywho, so yeah, I mean like maybe I might be like somewhere else for the summer. Maybe I'll be moving. Uh, who knows? Because I can't find any internships here. It's very uh, concerning, discouraging, disheartening. <laughs> but it's just like it's so stressful because with internships, it's like some of them don't respond back until after the new year. So I have so many companies that I've applied to whose application range is from like October to December. And then apparently they don't reach back out to people until January. So there's like 20 companies I haven't heard from, but there's two that I'm already like in the process for and interviewing for. And if they offer me a position, I'm just like, am I supposed to say no? And just hope that somewhere around here offers me an interview or something? So it's just stressful because you have to like sign contracts and you can't back out and I'm like, ugh, it's just a lot. But they're all good opportunities. Any opportunity that I get is a good opportunity considering I have no sort of business background. So I can't be but so frustrated. It's good money, good opportunity, and that's what I need. Experience and money. Anyway, I'm going to do some work now go to this event and then I guess like eat dinner I don't know it's Monday you know endless opportunities
Hello. Um, so this segment of the video is called uh, Ignoring My Responsibilities and Not Going to Class to Go Shopping. Um, you know, it's fine. It's actually fine that I didn't go to class, okay? I've never skipped class before. I don't even think in undergrad I ever skipped class. So, you know, it was needed. Um, you know, I have econ today and we know like I'm not well with econ, but here, here's where I'm at. I'm so far behind as it is. So I've started watching somebody that I can actually learn from um, on YouTube and he's been teaching me econ. So why am I going to class? I already don't know what she's talking about and she sucks as a professor. No offense, she's a nice lady, can't teach. Anyway, so, oh, if you can hear that, that's my cat wrestling around in the stuff that I got. So, here we are. <laughs> um, so, I mean, like, where do I, where do I begin? Like, okay, so, first of all, you know that TikTok? where it's the girl and she's showing her room and it's all clean and nice. And then she shows like her sister's room and it's all destroyed or you know, whatever. And it's like, it's mental illness. That's, that's the shopping haul right now. Um, first of all, we got wrapping paper, you know, Christmas, the holidays, birthdays, my mom's birthday is coming up. Christmas, and this looks so cute. $3.99, come on, you can't beat that. You know this is twice the price of Target. I'm just, Working smarter, not harder. Um, I, so I guess we're starting with all the Christmas decorations. Next, um, we got these. Why are these so trendy this year? But they're cute, look at them. So we got those, and they're really cute. So I bought them. And they're just little, little guys. There's a pillow for the couch. And stockings. They're like fluffy little cute cutie guys. They're just beautiful and adorable. And everything that I want and need in a stocking. Cute. And I got some setting spray. I got the Morphe one. This is my favorite. It's the only one that really works for me. Because right now I just have like a really cheap, I think like NYX one. And every time I spray it, it comes out in it doesn't come out misty it's like chunky like, not chunky like but you know what i'm saying then i got these nails for my interview to, not tomorrow friday cute french little guy this big daddy so all right well hear me out i went to h&m to find an outfit for my interview on um, friday and i did I also found a lot of other things that I liked. So I'm going to try a few things on just because I want to try them on right now. But something that I'm not going to try on is this. This is my all-time favorite shirt. I have it in another color, but I wanted to get it in white. It's like $12, but it has these little puff daddy sleeves. It's super cute, really flattering. And yeah, I, like I said, I have it in another color and it looks really great. Um, I only have one white like business shirt. And I can't really wear any other colors with my tan suit or my tan pants, so I got that one because the other white shirt that I had, um, like once I washed it, you know those shirts that just get like really, really wrinkly to the point where you just can't, and I can't put it in the dryer, it's like not one of those kind of shirts you can put in the dryer. And I've tried ironing it and it's just like wrinkle beyond repair. It's like just one of those shirts, it's not very good quality. So I got that one because I know that it's good quality. I guess I'll try this on. Why not? Not the time. Okay, this is cute. This is, you know, perfect for a little leggings outfit. Fun. It'll be cute with some jeans or something. Also, my cat's already making herself at home. Um, the pillow. So obviously, good purchase. All right. Next. I have a big presentation tomorrow in class, so I got these pants and this shirt. So we'll see how it looks. Okay, this might be something. I just like these pants. It's like a, a gaucho fit. Let me see how it looks in the mirror. I think this might be a slap. I mean, at least the pants are like, 
I don't know how I feel about turtlenecks. Like I haven't worn a turtleneck in at least a quarter century. Uh, it's been a long time, but yeah, these pants are really cute. Okay, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this. I've never had something be big in the chest on me before, so this is like new. Um, like it feels good. It's like a, it's an appropriate length. Like, I feel like it looks, I don't, I don't know how to wear this. This is very confusing. I think it would be pretty cute. Like, I like the dress. I think there's definitely a vibe going, but like, I don't know what to do with this. Okay, just ignore all the stuff on the ground. Like, after further evaluation, I think it's supposed to look like this. Now, now that is a look with some boots. Okay, some heels. Not, not this. Cute. I think it's going to be cute. We'll see. Catch you on Friday. I'm going to do a whole video on my interview and me going and getting there and, you know, the type of questions that they ask and stuff like that, so... Stay tuned. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna go up, but I'm thinking about maybe doing Vlogmas because I've got nothing else to do. I'm done with school like December 11th. Like done, done with school, like no more work. But this week is my last week of classes, so I'm just gonna be home. I mean like, I got nothing else to do, so I might as well film. So I'm just, I just film to remember the, the old times, the good times, so. That's probably what I'm gonna do. So I guess like maybe I'll do the whole vlogmas thing. It sounds like fun. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna do my nails. So I guess we can go ahead and do that. Alright, welcome to my salon. So actually I am like the world's I'm like the world's worst uh cuticle biter. I'm not really into like the whole nail biting thing, but I bite my cuticles like crazy, so my nails are really bad. Um, and the only time that I don't bite them is when I have nails on. And I also got these, I think I said this already, but I got them for my interview. So I don't have stank nails. Because I... I honestly like hate getting my nails done. I find it so boring. And I hate I just hate it. It's awful. So I like to get these. They're like five bucks at Ulta um, or Target or Walmart. I just went to Ulta because I also got my setting spray. And they're super cheap. I actually prefer to buy them from Ulta because typically Ulta has like a buy one get one deal. But they're just little French ones. I like the Kiss ones are far better, these ones, Kiss, far, far better than Impress. Um, I've never tried like static nails or any other nails, I just get the ones that are in stores. These are amazing. They stay on my fingers, like unless I'm really messing around, they don't go anywhere. They are amazing. So I just have this little guy, get the little cuticle pusher. Uh, a little nail file and then nail clippers so i get i like the medium ones which is kind of crazy because the like kiss nails uh don't really have like a lot of options for medium but my nails like my nails aren't weird like these guys are fine but i have a weird thumb and like none of the size small nails like they don't really fit my thumb so I try to get the medium. The long is just a bit too long. Like, I could do it, but it's just like not an, an everyday look for me. Hello. I used to be really self conscious of my nails. I noticed in eighth grade, this is so embarrassing. In, in eighth grade is when I got my first, like, boy boyfriend. And, um,. The big scandal was like, at lunch we would hold hands under the table and I noticed that I was self-conscious about it because I would always like do this um, 
if I didn't want my hand being held because I was like self-conscious of my nails. It's pretty crazy. I like bit them really bad in eighth grade and I didn't didn't want my eighth grade sweetheart to know. hence the fit but we knew this I think I talked about this yesterday when I went shopping when you know just felt like shopping so um I yeah had my presentation went well I'm thinking it's more of like an A for effort type deal hope so um yeah I mean that's like pretty much it uh, that's all I did today I didn't pay a speck of attention to my econ class like I'm checked out of her class I'm sorry I am now only listening to my man's Jacob Clifford on YouTube. Shout out to him. If you need econ help, hit him up. Um, he's very helpful. He's funny, intuitive, gives good examples. So that's that. That's been my day. Um, I have a meeting at 2. It's 1.30 right now. Um, mm -mm -mm. I don't know. I just got home. I'm feeling amped. I've had like far too much caffeine. Not too much. I've had one Red Bull, but it was like... I had half of it earlier and then the other half on the car ride home but my apartment is a mess like total mess like right now what you're seeing is just me and like my coat rack but I think I might put up my tree today and I'm thinking it's gonna go over here I think it'll be very cute um I filmed I started filming last night me decorating for Christmas so that's gonna be you know a different video um I got a bunch of sale items from Gymshark so once again probably another video of like a haul of just like everything I think I want to do like an entire Gymshark collection haul because I used to be really into them back when I first started working out and I think my issue was the fact that I was bigger then and I just didn't fit very well into the clothes like I used to blame it on them like their sizing being weird and like I can definitely admit that like some of their sizing is weird on certain items but I think it was just me not getting my appropriate size because I didn't want to believe that I had gained weight so um <laughs> I want to do like a whole Gymshark collection because like at, after this I'll have tried everything I think like not every item but like I'll have tried um shirts sports bras shorts and leggings which is basically you know what they sell I'm probably never gonna try like I don't know their backpacks or their socks or underwear like anything like that because I'm just not interested like we got target for that you know so yeah I'll officially have tried everything and I got a lot from the sale so I'm pretty excited about it um and yeah that order should be coming today I think I'm actually gonna end this video here though because I just I think I've done enough like I feel like this vlog is long so not a full week not a full day we're we're starting now we're starting to cut it down so maybe one of these days you'll get just a simple day in the life vlog but I hope you enjoyed if you did like subscribe do all that good stuff you know what to do I don't have to beg right all right 
I will see you all later. Bye.